Number nine from paper two of the 2018 Higher Maths. Six mark question here for, it's the optimization question. But look, it's the optimization question without part A, the part that scares you off. I suspect actually looking at this and the way it says, a sector with a particular fixed area has radius X. I'm sure the first part was originally it told you that area and you had to derive that expression for the perimeter. And then go on to the second part. I think we'll just play with that just now. So what have we got? If there was a sector of a particular fixed area, A, and you have to get the perimeter, well, the connection between area and get the arc first of all, the area over pi and the radius squared would be the arc over 2 pi r, so it's 2 pi x. So the arc would be taking those across, I'll just take them across, 2 pi x a over pi x squared, the pi's cancel out, those x's cancel out, and you're left with 2 a upon x. And then for the perimeter, it's going to be two lots of the radius plus the arc, so it's 2 x plus it. So it looks very much as if this question originally said, a sector has a fixed area of 64 square centimetres. Show that that's an expression for the perimeter. Anyway, you're probably relieved that's not there. So what's the minimum value of P? Well, you're going to differentiate it. Let's just rewrite this though as 120 X to the negative one. So that if I called that PX, I'd put P dash. I'm just going to call this DP by DX equals two minus, multiply by the power, minus 120, take one off the power, negative two. Since I'm going to be using that, I'm going to rewrite it as 128 over x squared. Then, if there's an optimum value at all, there'd have to be a stationary value somewhere. So dp by dx should equal zero, which means two minus 120 over x squared should equal zero. Don't like the look of that because it's got fractions. Multiply everything by x squared, two x squared, Minus, oh, let's just put it down, I've said it, 120 equals 0. So 2x squared. Now, you could factorise that, or you could just, since it's a single mention of x, just take it across. x squared, divide that, gives you, there's that 64 back, which means x equals the square root of that. I'll just put it down. Which means x equals 8, because it's a real situation and x has to be greater than 0. Well, you could have left that in factorising. You know, take out the 2 and then you get the difference of 2 squares because it'll be x squared minus 64. x minus 8, x plus 8. Pick out the right one. Now, this little part here about, it does say it's a minimum, but I think what you have to do is just demonstrate that it is in fact a minimum. Might not be right there. So pick something less than 8, something more than 8, and see what p dash x comes to. Well, you know it's 0 there if you've done this correctly. So just going back to this one here, picking something a lot less, like one, means you've got a big something to take away. Picking something a lot bigger than that, like well, not a lot bigger, 10, 100, means there's only one in a bit to take away, so it goes positive. So it goes like this. So it means it is a minimum if they want that. But you've defined the value of that minimum. So if x is eight, p is going to equal two times eight, plus 128 divided by 8, that's 16 plus, and that'll be 116 again, that's 32, and that's centimetres squared. So I'll just put that down. Minimum value of P equals 32 centimetres, and it's not an area, it's a perimeter, centimetres. It doesn't ask for this bit, when X equals 8 centimeters.